Hi, thanks for tuning in to another video from the Beauty Bags. Today I'm really excited because I have my first ever e.l.f. haul to show you. Um, if you're not familiar, e.l.f. stands for eyes, lips, and face. And to the best of my knowledge, you can't get this brand in Canada unless you order online, and that's what I did. I don't think they um, are in any of our stores. If they are, let me know. So I have quite a few items, so I'll get right into it. So first of all, it comes in this big plastic bag as a drawstring. So I got a few things from the studio line and a few things from the regular line. And if you're not familiar with the brand, almost everything on the site is $1. So if you kind of compare that to ordering online, say from Mac, where I paid $28 for this order. That would maybe get you two eyeshadows with MAC with your shipping. So for me, I like to get a big bunch of stuff. I feel like I got more for my dollar. I've never tried e.l.f. before, so I'm not really sure if the quality has been compromised because of the price. I'm not sure. I hear tons of reviews, really positive reviews about e.l.f. So I will definitely let you know and be doing some reviews. So first of all, because almost every guru that I've ever watched um, has the e.l.f. mechanical eyelash curler, and that's what it looks like, and only a dollar, I hear really good things about it. From the studio line, I'm trying the small precision brush, it has a tiny, tiny little tip, and I thought this would be really good for the inner corners and kind of maybe smudging out the lash line. I also got the eyeshadow brush, which I also see a lot of the gurus using. Just your basic eyeshadow brush. Thought it'd be really good for coloring for um, packing on the base color. I also got the all over cover stick and my shade is in apricot beige. It was definitely a total guess on the shades. I'm not sure how well they will work for my skin tones. I'll see, but I thought for a dollar, I can't really go wrong. I also got the Zip Zapper, which I'm really curious to see if this actually works. It's supposed to eliminate some of the redness if you get problem acne. I generally have pretty clear skin, so I'm not really, I guess I, don't, I would not really classify as having problem skin, but um, I thought maybe for small blemishes this might reduce redness. I'm not expecting a miracle from it, but I was just curious, so I got it. I also got the Natural Eyelash, eyelash Kit, and that's what it looks like. And by mistake, I ordered them in brown. I had meant to get them in black. But I figured brown might look more natural anyway. <clears throat> and you can always put mascara over top to get that black effect. Then I got Shimmering Facial Whip. And I got, got it in lilac petal. And this is supposed to be good for highlighting, using it on your eyes, cheeks, basically anywhere on your face that you want to highlight. I've considered maybe using it as a cream base for my shadows as well. So see how that works. I also got a free gift from e.l.f. I guess they send you free gifts, one free gift for every order or something like that. I'm not sure, but it's a little eyeshadow palette and it's in butternut. Definitely a cute little palette that they sent for free. So that's always awesome. Also from the studio line, I'm trying the e.l.f. concealer. And that's what it looks like. My shade is in ivory. Again, not sure about the colors. We'll see what happens. And again from studio line, I got a single eyeshadow. And this one the shade is Coffee Bean, and I opened this one up, and it's got really cute packaging, and it even has a little mirror on it, and it's just a really beautiful shimmery brown. It's a really nice color. 
And just to mention, the studio line is slightly more expensive. I believe usually their their products are three to five dollars, so still really cheap, but they aren't the same as the dollar line. It is a little bit more money. I am also trying out the eyelid primer, just from the regular line. That's what that looks like. And I got a eyeshadow duo, and this one is in Berry Mix. Nice plum color and a nice light pink. Um, I got another facial whip, but in a different shade. I tried this one out in Toasted, which is more of a bronzy color. That would be good for eyes. And I'm trying out one of their super glossy lip shines, and this shade is in Candlelight. Really pretty coral color. I'm always after that perfect coral gloss. And I find drugstores, it's usually their really pink, um, browns, nudes, reds. It's really hard to find that perfect, perfect coral, so I'm really excited to try this out. And then for some reason they sent me a double of the lilac petal. I'm not sure why. I wasn't charged for it, but they sent me an extra. So thanks Elf, but I didn't really need an extra. So that was my Elf haul. Like I said, all the products are anywhere from a dollar to five dollars. The regular line, every product is a dollar. The whole haul, all 15 items, cost me $28. So I mean, if you're trying to save money but still wanting to purchase makeup, it's a really good site to check out. Like I said, I can't comment on the quality at this time. I haven't tried the products. I'll let you know how they are. And I heard a lot of reviews that um, the products took a long time to get to Canada. Now, this is just my experience, but it only took two weeks to get to Canada. And um, I'm in BC, and I believe the products came from New Jersey. So, you know, two weeks, that's pretty standard, even if I was ordering from a Canadian site. So I'm really excited to try these products and I will let you know how they work out for me and stay tuned for more videos. If there's any items that you are particularly interested in and want to see a review, let me know. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.